autism sensory kit and we've made the acronym of ASK. Waco police officers are getting a hundred of these kits along with training on how to use them. Officer Bradley Delange, who's passionate about mental health and teaches crisis intervention, was the first to have an ask bag. The tools inside include a nonverbal flip chart of pictures, fidgets, and sensory tactile toys for calming, as well as headphones and glasses to help with communication and de-escalation. They're aware that we understand their world a little bit more, and we're able to begin some form of communication with them and or help calm their sensory uh, overload. What we can do for people on the autism spectrum. Assistant District Attorney Ann justice. Jackson and her son, Trez Jackson, who is on the autism spectrum, were both instrumental in making this happen. Our children and young adults on the spectrum may be acting differently, but that doesn't mean there's something wrong with them or that they've broken the law or that they're suspicious. It's the way they behave, it's the way they communicate. She remembers feeling anxious, having to call 911 at times in certain situations, expecting the worst. But she says, thankfully, those interactions ended positively and officers gave her son a chance. It makes me feel really great because I know how much this means to my mother and with the officers I know of really great family friends and who have helped me in a couple times. Jackson's message to others. If you do see someone who's on the spectrum, Give, talk to them. Let them know that they are understood, that they are heard. Maria Aguilera, 6 News. And thanks to Maria, officers will begin using these kits in December after they go through their training.